Uh, hello guys, today I'm gonna show you how to repair this uh, 55 inch LG TV. It uses lenses on the LEDs that are very difficult to adjust. As we can see here, we can clearly see the ones that I repaired. I tried it once, many many months ago, and now I did it again. Here we see a close-up, uh, we can clearly notice the bright rings. Now my first mistake was to buy the wrong LEDs. These are supposed to be cool white, but they are not actually the same, they don't have the same color temperature as the original LEDs. And they also don't have the right polarity, they have the larger pad and um, the smaller pad are inverted. So then I decided, for now for the real repair, I decided to buy these here from eBay. Uh, we can see down here that they are not they don't have the same color temperature. I don't know if this is the right one here, twelve thousand to fifteen thousand K. But they are very, very near to the original color, real clear white. So the first thing we're gonna do here is to mount these uh, metal brackets uh, I I made specifically to put this on a TV and to be able to handle it better. The first thing we're gonna have to do is to remove uh, the PCBs, that's the main board. Then uh, the next one here is the, the power supply board that also contains the LED driver. Now I just put the, the metal bracket on. So now it becomes really easy to to lay it on the screen or to to move it around without pressing on the on the glass too much. Then the little stands we remove them. Next thing here is the IR receiver and the the power button and the T-com board which is underneath this um, metal shield. I push the little lever upwards. And and the flat cable can be pulled out of it, out of the connector. And then all the little screws around the screen have to be removed. The next step here is to pull these long PCBs out of their, their little plastic rubber supports and when handling them you have to be very careful not to bend or to damage these flat cables because they are attached to the, the LCD glass so this has to be done really carefully we see these little clips here this one is holding, that's the front bezel, that's holding the, the whole assembly. There are only three on the bottom, so we can just pull it, pull the, the LED assembly up like this and the LCD glass will remain on the, on the table. So this one should now not be moved, the, the LCD glass or the front bezel should remain in the same place. Now just uh, remove this little plastic frame that holds all these white diffuser sheets. They are held with plastic clips. And we have one, two, three, we have three uh, thin sheets and then one big this bigger one is really um, it's fragile so you don't you cannot bend it too much it will break remove these and then uh, next step remove these little standoffs and the little pins that hold the, the the white big white reflector sheet we already see the LEDs here 
this can be done from the back removing all these little plastic pins the first thing we see when we test these LEDs again it's like fr a little frosted the the L the the lens and of of course it's the wrong color it's like a, a little it has a yellow tint this one here is another diffuser sheet from another TV I had and powering up the the whole strip that has uh, I think it has 13 LEDs no it has 11 it has 11 LEDs and each LED takes about 6 volts so from 60 to 60 volts about is uh, is good enough to light them up so we saw these two here I break the one off I had mounted on the on the LED and I'm just going to try it here for just to demonstrate how it will not work with another with another little lens I have from another TV and it's it's absolutely not the same thing as you can see then also if you wanted to remove if you wanted to replace the whole LED strip you see it's very difficult too because they are glued with some double-sided tape so what we're gonna do here is uh, I'm gonna remove the LED that's the one I bought I had bought from DigiKey that has it's yellow as you can see here I removed part of the of the copper trace because this LED had the wrong polarity with the larger pad on the wrong side I put some solder paste on here so I'll be sure that there's some solder underneath the LED here the larger pad is the plus side on this LED that's the one from eBay then just heat it from each side and it's gonna lie down flat on the, on the PCB so we can see here the color is good it's now actually almost the same as as the original one that's the old one from DigiKey the yellow one here this one here is the one from eBay so now the problem is with the uh, with the little lens how we can adjust it and what else is happening with it so I just put the little lens on here without uh, bothering too much about the exact position just uh, uh, roughly the same spot where it's supposed to be and we clearly see that this doesn't work now let's have a look under the microscope that's that's a good one here I broke it off from a good uh, original LED we see it's really clear now if we take one if we take the one that was on the on the other LED the one that was faulty they look like frosted glass on the inside it's not glass it's plastic but it's like uh, frosted it has some deposit on the inner the inner cone the part inside of the lens should be absolutely clear the light will not come through as it should go through uh, this one here is a good one uh, shining with the flashlight uh, through it and this one here is the one that has the deposit on the inside and we can clearly see it's not the same thing so this has to be cleaned I took uh, alcohol for that so now that it's clean we can we see it's uh, much cleaner than before so this is really important I, I've seen that it really makes a big difference now let's have a look at this again uh, it's already much better the next thing would be to be able to exactly adjust the, the little lens into the right position so what I'm gonna do here is uh, I cut out of an old piece of diffuser maybe we could take some thick white paper too for that and this one here is the one I just cut out and we can now see if I move it around I, I move around the, the diffuser sheet with the little lens underneath and this way you are able to put it in exactly the right position hold it there glue it on the onto the in the right place and it's gonna look great 
and you can hardly see a difference here it's a little it seems to be a little brighter than new LED but other than that it's uh, it's it looks pretty good so here we see a close-up of the side from the side of the, the lens this area here this uh, inner the, the cone inside the lens should remain absolutely clear absolutely clean the LED is positioned around here and then this area these little protrusions here you, we just put glue on these little protrusions there are three of them you will see them when you break off the lens and just put carefully glue on these three and then adjust the LED the way I just showed you so I did this now on all the LEDs I had, I had replaced once I replaced them again all of them and now I'm gonna test them with about 66 volts or 60 volts about on each uh, LED strip and of course uh, the yellow uh, yellow tint uh, the yellow LED color is gone uh, these are now the new LEDs from eBay What we see here now is the full, the full assembly with um, with the reflector sheet and the four sheets on top of them. There are two two LED strips that are in series, and then there are three that are in series. So for the two, it takes about 120 volts, and for the other one, it takes about uh, 180 volts DC. I'm just putting some power supplies here in series. And now assemble everything in reverse order. So here he has to be very very careful. This is better be done with two two persons maybe. Yeah, don't don't press too much on the on this cover on this back cover here because uh, the glass could break if it's not in the right position. You may just have to move it around a bit to so it comes back into the right position. Last but not least, the LED current should be lowered. I repaired this thing once and I don't remember the, the original resistors. There are two branches here. Each has eight resistors to measure the LED current. What I put in here was 8.2 and 6.8 ohm in series. Four of them for each branch. So these are the values I'm using now and it's still a pretty good picture. Yeah, if I turn it on now with the white screen, uh, the horrible picture is gone. We can't uh, distinguish anymore the LEDs that were damaged and replaced. Yeah, that's it, folks. Thank you very much for watching. And it's nice that uh, from now we will be able to repair these TVs too. Just by replacing single LEDs and not uh, whole LED strips. Good luck for you, for your repairs, and see you in one of my next videos. Bye.